Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa West. I'm here at the Pop Culture Shop in Newmarket, Ontario with the fabulous Jonathan Brookins. So excited to be interviewing him today. Um, why don't you tell us um, where you live and where you're training, who you're training with right now. Um, I'm living in, um, I guess I am responsible enough to hold this. So. <laughs> um, I'm living in Orlando, Florida and um, training at the, the Gracie Baja Orlando. And um, But I'm going to get on the road and I'm going to start traveling. I'm going to go um, first to New York, Manhattan to train with uh, John, hopefully John Danaher and, and them at Henzo Gracie's and kind of sharpen up my jujitsu jiu game and um, just kind of enjoy training with um, different people and hopefully come back to Toronto in December. So I'm just going to get on the road and hop around a little bit. So we were talking a little bit before the interview and you were saying that you like Toronto a lot. I do like Toronto a lot. I think, uh, I think Toronto's uh, an excellent, uh, very excellent city. I, I really want to spend some time here because every time I come, like this is magnificent. It's huge. It has. I'm really. I love diversity. That's huge to me. And any place I go where it's very diverse, I, I like. I just want to like kind of soak up as much as I can. And this is really one of those cities, so it's really cool. Yeah, Toronto definitely has that. Yeah. <laughs> so, how has becoming a UFC fighter changed your life? Um, I'll let you hold it too. Switch it back and forth. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's it's changed my life for the better. Um, it's it's definitely allowing me to kind of grow in in the ways that like I I really seek and need to to kind of grow and expand internally and and externally like not even just physically it allows me to kind of work on my physical self and transform and stuff which is always nice to stay in shape and things but internally you know there's there's just so many ups and downs which allows you to kind of face your inner inner turmoil your inner struggles and. I couldn't ask for more to, to grow up, to face challenges, to kind of look at myself in the mirror sometimes and say, like, I need to be better than who I am and how do I do this? Because, you know, to be successful in this industry, like, I need to grow up. So I'm just constantly being faced with that. And I'm thankful for an outlet that makes me do that, makes me look at myself and makes me um, rise to the occasion. That's pretty powerful. <laughs> okay, I have some names here that I'm going to read off and I want you to just give me, like, a sentence or two response to them okay okay charles bennett awesome guy he's so cool <laughs> he's uh he's one of my favorite fighters ever and also a really good friend and um one of my first kind of mentors in the sport and not a lot of people would say charles bennett is he's, oh you're a mentor that's more than two sentences but charles bennett is an excellent guy despite you know what you might find or read about him on the internet he's an excellent person Josh Koscheck. Not as cool as Charles Bennett. <laughs> He's okay. He, I like him, you know. He just, you know, he just kind of, I, I like, I shouldn't say that. I mean, he just, you know, he's, he's, he's just, he is Josh Koscheck, man. He's over there and other people are other places so but he's good man actually no excellent fighter because his last fight he was phenomenal man so I will say he's a superb athlete so he's cool. Michael Johnson. I like Michael Johnson a lot. I like Michael a whole lot. I think uh, Michael Johnson's going to have a, a really good career in the UFC. He's already won more fights in the UFC than I have, so I think, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he's on his way. He's good, man. I like him a lot. He's a hard worker, and we're still friends, so I, I, you know, I can't wait to see him again and hang out with him. GSP? GSP's great, legend. I think uh, one of my favorite fighters of all time, and uh, definitely – was a gift of a coach you know I couldn't have asked for any other coach maybe besides BJ Penn like I just couldn't have asked for and with who GSP brought in when I was training with him on the Ultimate Fighter and then he brought into the house and exposed us to um, he's just a phenomenal person he's really really incredible Cody McKenzie Cody's good I like Cody a ton Cody's a great friend of mine Cody um he just, uh, he's unique, one of a kind. Like, uh, I should have said about Charles Bennett, too, one of a kind, but Cody's really one of a kind. He's really a, really a special dude. He just, uh, you know, he's a great friend. He's a great training partner. He's a natural fighter. He's just got full of gifts. He's actually a really good artist, and he's just, I, he's, he's one of my favorite people I've ever met, so I like Cody a lot. BJ Penn. BJ's great. BJ's, uh, fighting tonight and hopefully man hopefully he just really really does well um he's probably to me like embodies like a legend in the sport like i've never like 
he gives out so much love. It is unreal, man. I mean, the way he treats people, fans, um, friends of his, man, it's like really kind of embodies that. Like what they say in like Hawaii, like aloha, they're like really about the love. If you have like enough aloha, then you're really welcome. And, you know, they really want to spread that too. So it's like spread the aloha. And it's like when you're around him or when you kind of like, you kind of get that sense that he really embodies that. He's uh, BJ's got a lot of love, so I mean that's probably why the world loves him back. He's incredible. <laughs> and Dana White. I didn't even say anything about Dana White. For one, I don't want to get in trouble. Two, I don't even know the dude, so you know he's uh, he's way up here, man. Guys like me are way down here. So as far as Dana White's concerned, I got to just try a little harder to get on his radar. So <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> you still practicing yoga? I am still practicing yoga. Um, I just got a new mat, a new Manduka mat. You like those? I was going to get a, um, a Lululemon mat, but I just got a new one, a new mat. So I'm going to, you know, try to just practice a lot, a lot more. Um, but I'm mostly doing like uh, kind of like more uh, almost like power yoga type type classes, you know. But I'd probably like to get into more of like an Ashtanga and, and Hatha as well because I... I uh, I've been doing more like the power flows, like more flow classes, kind of just working on like my body a little bit. But, you know, I'm always really into meditation as well. So, um, and the meditation and the breath, and I have a really hard time really connecting to like my breath and things. So I'll probably take a little bit more slowed down classes. But every once in a while I get really into like physical, the physical practice, the physical flow. And um, so, but I've been practicing a lot in Orlando and I hope to, everywhere I go, I always like to try to find, like I, before my last fight, I found a really good hot studio to kind of cut some weight instead of sitting in the sauna. I went and did a hot yoga class and it worked out excellent. So it was cool. So how do you find uh, the yoga and the meditating help you with your fighting? Um, well, they don't really as much help me like with just, um, with actually like punching or kicking or as much. Well, the flexibility helps a ton yeah, all over the place. But for the most part, it, it'll help me out and just make my overall, like, well-being in life, which then, you know, can transpire into anything else. You know, whether you're a painter or a chef or anything, you know, if you feel better about yourself, if you feel better throughout your day, then you're just going to be better at what you do. So that's what I really like about yoga. It just really allows me to kind of feel better. And as if I feel better, I'm going to train better. So that's kind of like my theory on it. So on The Ultimate Fighter, you came across as the spiritual person on the show. How important is spirituality to your life? Um, very important. Very, very important. Because um, without it, you know, like I feel like I was definitely without um, a connection to like spirituality. Um, once I got off the show, I kind of really got lost for like a long time. And I didn't understand why I knew I was feeling lost. I was telling people, man, I feel so lost, man, you know. And I think I was just like... Um, without the connection to like to things that like I hold true to myself you know I wasn't really practicing you know what I preach you know and, and um without that you know um I don't I don't do well you know and I don't I don't go in the direction that I know I'm supposed to go so spirituality to me is is a, is a way of living it's a way of being it's a way of um finding like inner truths truths that you know that you figured out through yourself you know that you figured out through life you know you say you know, I've lived like this, and I've watched enough of these things to happen that I know that this is true, that if X, then Y, you know, I know if I'm mean to somebody, that well, they're not going to feel good, and they're not going to like me. So that's the truth, you know, that to be the truth, you've learned those things. And that way of living, of like finding out, you know, truths about the world and, and, and growing is really, really important to me. So I think I'm on the right track now, so I really can't wait till like my next fight. I think I'm going to do a lot better. So tell me about how you're preparing and training for your next fight. Um, I, you know, it's a secret. No, uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm just going to train with a lot of, a lot of people, a lot, uh, you know, find a lot of different partners and, and really kind of just like enjoy my time rather than being stressed out about this or if I'm doing the right thing and, you know, all this, I'm just going to like, just kind of just slow down, take some deep breaths and just really like enjoy like every day of training and every opportunity I get to train with, with new people and, and just really a big key is just to like enjoy what I'm doing and that's that's going to be my difference to this training camp versus my last one and what do you feel like you learned from your loss with against Jose Aldo um I learned a lot then but now I just lost again so that was my first loss since then so now I learned uh, you know a lot about I learned a lot more about myself in this one and the last one in Jose Aldo I learned a lot about like physical like I learned a lot more about fighting 
this last loss I didn't really feel like I lost because like I wasn't a good enough fighter I just didn't fight well you know so that taught me a lot more about what I do outside of the cage you know that that I need to do fix those things so that you don't come into the cage less than who you really are so and that's kind of like the lessons that I've learned in my losses. Okay so you mentioned that you train with Cody McKenzie we all want to know what the guillotine's like. Um, <laughs> It's hard to stop, that's for sure. <laughs> he puts that guillotine on like like crazy, like all the time. Like he gets in the most wildest positions. He always just like, you know, he's just scrappy, man. He's yeah. just got this like, he's just one of the scrappiest dudes, man. I'm just like, I'm so impressed for it. You know, I just, I just can't wait to see him. I want to see him really do well in the yeah. UFC. Well, thank you so much, Jonathan, for this interview. And thank you for the Pop Culture Shop in Newmarket, Ontario, for this opportunity. And um, I think that's it. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Thanks. <laughs>